Lesson 8.4, fractions and whole number division, and dividing fractions in general. Okay, same thing. I'm going to help you solve the questions in your homework. Okay? Okay, for this part, we have two cases. If fractions come first, like in a division problem, if the fraction number comes first, or if, if the whole number comes first, or if I'm dividing uh, two fractions, this is the same scenario. If the whole number comes first, or if I'm dividing two fractions, like the two, uh, the two, uh, the dividend and the divisor are fractions. Okay? Okay, let's concentrate on this case. If fractions come first, if I have a fraction here, and I'm dividing by a whole number, whole number gets multiplied to the denominator, which means, like in this case, I have a 1 over 3 divided by 3. Okay, this whole number goes to get multiplied to the denominator. So I get an answer of 1 over 9. Because 3 times multiplied by 3 is 9. Okay? Now for this question, I have a 2 over 3 divided by 4. Okay, where does the 4 go? Goes to the denominator. Gets multiplied to the denominator. That means that I have the denominator the same. It's going to be the same. It's, it's still 2. And the denominator is 3 multiplied by 4, which is 12. Okay? Now, is this the simplest form? 2 over 12, is it the simplest form? Where do 2 and 12 meet in a timetable? They meet at timetable 2. So that means I can divide by 2 up and below. And that means I get 1 over 6. Okay, now, in this case, if whole number comes first, or if I'm dividing 2 fractions, okay? This is going to work for the two cases. This technique is going to work for the two cases, okay? If I have the whole number first, here, okay, and I'm dividing it by the fraction, that means it's, the, it's, it's switched, it's the other way around, the whole number first, and then the fraction, okay? I use a technique called K Kentucky Fried Chicken, or KFC. It means keep, flip, change. Okay, now, I'm gonna keep this number, I'm gonna flip this number, and I'm gonna change the sign. That means, I'm gonna keep the 9 as it is, I'm going to flip the 1 over 3, it's going to become a 3, I'm going to put the 3 above and the 1 below, so it's a 3 over 1, which means it's a 3. And then I'm going to change this sign, instead of division, I'm going to use multiplying. So I have a 9 multiplied by 3, which give, gives me 27. Okay, now for this problem, I have 6 divided by 1 over 5. I'm going to keep the 6, I'm going to flip the 1 over 5, and I'm going to change the sign. Okay? So, I'm going to keep the 6, flip the 1 over 5, it's, it's going to become a 5 over 1. Okay? What's any number divided by 1? It's the same. So, it's a 5. And I'm going to change the sign. Instead of division, I'm going to use multiplying. So, I have a 6 multiplied by 5, which gives me 30. Okay? Now, in this case, if I'm dividing two fractions, so I have a 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 9, what do I do? I'm going to use the same technique, Kentucky Fried Chicken, or keep, flip, change. I'm going to keep this one as it is, I'm going to flip this one, and I'm going to change the sign. Okay? So the 1 over 3 stays the same. Okay, what about the 1 over 9? I'm going to flip it. I'm going to put the 9 above and the 1 below, so I have a 9 over 1. What's a 9 divided by 1? It's a still, it's still a 9. So it's a 9, okay? And I'm gonna change this sign. So I'm gonna get a multiplication. So, it's one, so it becomes 1 over 3 multiplied by 9, okay? When I'm multiplying a fraction by a whole number, the whole number goes to the nominator. That means I have a 9 over 3. Okay, what's a 9 divided by 3? 9 over 3 means it's 9 divided by 3. What's 9 divided by 3? It's 3. Because 3 multiplied by 3 gives me a 9. So it's 3. This is lesson 8.4.